Welcome back to another episode of War of the Visions uh, Armory. So, I kind of wanted to wait to do this episode because I wanted to do a uh, platinum robe, uh, elven cloak, platinum helm, and the sage staff all at the same time. Uh, the problem with the platinum robes is I didn't realize I needed uh, any of these bone splinters. So, too bad. No platinum robe for now, but look at this 10,000 white sand. I feel like white sand probably sells the best in the freaking game. Anyways, let's start off and see if we get lucky. Okay. Uh, Sage Staff, I would not say is worth it to make, but let's hope I get the magic version. Oh my god. I couldn't even get the magic version. Ugh, this is so trash. Basically, uh... This is a dismantle. <laughs> um, I think this comes in... The only good one here, the only good thing for Sage Staff is magic. Uh, and it costs 15,000 Vizior to make. I mean, fifteen uh, costs 15,000 arena medals to make. I had some extra arena medals lying around, so I just said, screw it, I'll just buy one of these and see if uh, I can get the magic version. The magic version of the Sage Staff is the best staff in the game for healers. Because it gives the most magic. Uh, healers don't really... Pure healer. Talk about Ayaka, really. Pure healers don't really attack the opponent. So there's really no uh, there's really no need for the magic attack. This technically is the best staff in the game. If you can get it to plus... Uh, you can get it to plus 5. Which is basically impossible. Uh, within the lifetime of the game. So uh, that you can kind of forget. Um, okay. Elf Cloak. Uh, we're going to make a plus 5. A plus four, and we're gonna make a bunch of plus threes. Um, we're gonna make a uh, we're gonna make a plus five, a plus four, and a bunch of bunch of regulars. Um, so plus five is six is sixty three, plus four is thirty two, so that adds up to fifty. Uh, that adds up to ninety five. Uh, I'm gonna make a couple of these because I'm trying to get uh, I'm trying to get vital versions of this for a drain force build. If I ever use drain force. Oops, didn't need this. Then we're gonna max them out. Uh, Elven Cloak is actually one of the better items in the game because all three are viable. Unfortunately, because all three are viable, uh, this is shield, so defense 16, evade 3. Uh, this is dodge, evade 14, defense 6. Um, so it looks like I got two shields in it, okay. <clears throat> Which kind of sucks because I need, um, I want to have three vitals. So what I'll do is I'll keep making them until I get the three vitals. And then I'll craft the rest of them into what I need. Uh, let's see. The reason why I want to have three vitals is that 600 HP is actually a very good chunk of HP. And I can stack it on anything. I can stack it on a health tank and do try to go for a Drain Force build later. Uh, I've always wanted to make a Drain Force build, so that's why. Uh, and here's the vital version, 640 HP. And here's the thing with the Elven Cloak. Because it's accessory, uh, it'll, if you... Uh, if you wear it, it, op it still opens you up to a lot of armor TMRs. So dodge, 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 vital, vital. I only got one. Okay. This is the one time I'm fishing for vital anything. And the uh, Elven Cloak is good enough that... Uh, this thing is so good that uh, any of the three are great. But my plus 5 is probably going to be defense, because I feel like I'll probably need defense a little bit more. Uh, and my plus 4 is going to be the dodge version. Okay, what the hell? Okay, dodge, dodge, vital, vital, dodge, shield. So that's two vitals, right? Uh, one vital here. And one vital there. There's two vitals. 
I need one more vital. Uh, oops. Uh, Platinum Helm is a lot easier. Platinum Helm, I'm probably going for Spirit. Uh, Platinum Helm gives you the 8 and 9, 8 defense, 9 Spirit um, on the Shield version, which I don't really like. Because uh, 8 9. 8-9 used to be decent, but 8-9 in the era of stat stacking is really awkward. Because it's kind of halfway there on between both, so you don't really need... Um, it has 1, 2, 3... Because I got my 3 vital. Okay, 8-9 uh, uh, spirit and defense is too awkward. Um, Especially with stat stacking, I think you only get like 50% uh, of the first one and 20 of the second one. Um, it's not it's not really enough because a lot of other stuff provides uh, defense and uh, spirit. Uh, and generally it's higher than 8 or 9, so it will trump that. Anyways, so here we go. We are going to make a plus 5. Wondering what I was missing. I need 30. Okay. This great sword is what I'm going for here. There we go. Uh, use existing. I think what I gotta do is hit these as favorite, right? So they'll stop, so they won't show up. One. Two. Three. Okay, so these three are flagged as favorites. Where's the third one? One, two, okay. Uh, gotta be careful with these things because uh, the rest, the number of recipes is limited. Held eleven, but I'm only using eight. That is correct. Okay, and here we go. Uh, elven cloak. Uh, plus five elven cloak. I'm gonna go for defense because an accessory that gives sixteen defense is very, very rare. Uh, yeah. Uh. An accessory that gives uh 16 evade. 16 evade is probably the strongest is the highest evade. However, there are better evade items that you would want to use. For example, Hermes boots. Um what's the other thing? Uh, uh Hermes boots, uh Sage Hat, things like that. And really, what it uh, the difference between um, and here's the main dif here's the main reason why I'm going uh, evade for plus five. Uh, if you stack evade correctly, you shouldn't even get hit. Uh, and really, there's only one pierce attack. Uh, there's really only one pierce attack that does uh, a crap ton of evade damage, and that's uh, that, that does uh, that's a hundred percent hundred percent guarantee hit, and that's surefire burst. So realistically, unless you're fighting Glacella, there's really no difference between plus five and plus four. Uh, so that's why. Whereas the defense is useful everywhere. So here we go. Uh, we are going for shield. Heal. Okay, just make sure I still have all the other ones and there's the plus five. And here is a I guess what I would try to do is uh oh there's down in these 31 so I'm gonna try and make a few more and see if I can get a shield uh, an extra shield version because having an extra shield accessory is very useful as well same thing if you can properly use dodge then that uh then the confuse resist is really all you need you don't really need uh, anything else Oh, got a shield version. I need dodge. Uh, this is one of the only times I'm ever doing this for an accessory because it's so freaking good. 
okay, there's the do there's that extra dodge one I have. I uh, also ended up getting an extra shield version. But anyways, here we go. I can't believe the amount between 450 and 500 is so huge. Okay, anyways, there we go. Uh, this one is the Dodge variant. Oh my gosh. The two things I hate about this uh, crafting system, uh, it lags like hell. Uh, so if I crash, it randomly picks one for me. And the other issue is the order switches, so that's kind of bothers me as well. Okay, Platinum Helm. Um, Platinum Helm, I'm just going to go for the Spirit version. Uh, mainly, I'm only going to use Platinum Helm on... Uh, I'm mainly only going to use Platinum Helm on Whisper anyway. Uh, but the Slash Resist is pretty insane. Um, I feel like if I'm going to use... Uh, armor plus slash resist. I'll probably just go with golden armor. Uh, but here, I'm just gonna use. Uh, I'm just gonna go for uh, spirit, the uh, barrier version. A craft uh, barrier right here. That's correct. I think the vital version of the uh, Platinum Helm is also decently good. Um, yeah, I think it only gives like 600 something HP. Oh, my webcam would decide to stop messing out. Okay, uh, now we're actually going to upgrade these. Uh, I'm probably just going to upgrade the plus 4 to plus 5 and the uh, Platinum Helm. And then from there, uh, I'll figure out the rest. The rest I'll kind of work on when I have time, or the rest I'll save for next time once uh, once I get the uh, Platinum Robe upgraded. Platinum Robes, I'm really just waiting for Smart Robes to come around, because I, uh, I need the stupid Bone Shards. I don't have a good way of getting that. Oh man, 350. Uh, I don't know of, of any great katanas coming along. Uh, fist weapons, I already got the Raldor one. Uh, I believe I got two of them already. So, there's that. Okay, uh, this should be plus five. Oh, I got plus another 25 here. This is always usually my number one slot, uh, number one flaughter. Uh, let's see. Go plus five. Uh, I don't have the equipment pass here. I do have a unit pass because uh, I need to get all the freaking resonance for my guys. Uh, I'm also really close to VIP 12, which is not a good thing. But anyways, uh, how to max this item is actually a big question. Uh, I'm not too sure how I would max this one. I guess what I would do is uh, HP evade shield. Okay, uh, that's a good chunk of HP. Shield's maxed out. Uh, the anti-crit kind of needs to be maxed out as well. Heavy! Heavy! Down! 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 I got decided it was funny to try and eat my car keys. But really, all that stuff is these three. I'm surprised I only have so little crit seals left. I guess I uh, transmute. I guess I traded too many of them in. Okay, that is decent. 
This one might be a little hard to max out. I might need to get the. I might need to come back with the rest, uh, with the equipment recipe and kind of re-roll this later on. Hey, the defense is capping out. Not really. Uh, I don't think we're anywhere near a perfect Elven Cloak here. Uh, the thing with Elven Cloak, um, I think what I gotta do here is uh, hammer out the hammer out the defense first, I guess. Uh, it's hard to say. Uh, hammering out HP, I guess, kind of helps it out as well. Help moves it along. But as you can see, the HP is actually pretty close. Uh, I'm decently close to one now. This one's kind of a gamble. I'll most likely have to use a. Uh, I'll most likely have to use hammers on it. Crap. That's really bad. Just when I thought there was some hope of maxing this thing out without hammers, this does this to me. Okay. Fine. Uh, HP is almost capped out, defense... Seeing that as 3 for some reason. I think the most important thing for me to cap out here is the crit evade. I don't have a good way of countering... I don't have a good way of capping out the crit evade. I don't believe there's any crit evade hammers. Here I'm hoping I can cap out the HP first. Okay, the HP is capped out. Okay, I got the HP capped out on a bonus. So that's really good. Um, these three, uh, between crit and evade, it's already five, uh, and I need another four for defense, so I'm gonna have to hammer, but it's very likely that I can get it done. So I am able to perfect this. So six hammers. That's fine. Uh, my defense hammers happen to be the thing that I have the most. Uh, luckily I got the crit evade done, because I don't believe there is a crit evade hammer. Uh, accuracy, spirit... Yeah, I don't think there's a crit evade hammer. Right, four, six hammers, four perfect weapon, fine. Perfect item, there we go. Uh, the plus four version, this one's gonna be a little annoying. Because now I don't have the HP seals. Uh... Huh, enhancement reset. Is that... Let me see if that's a thing. I just didn't notice that. Enhancement reset. Holy shit! Item used to be enhanced cannot be restored. Uh, okay. Let me see if I... I did not know that this is a thing. Um, I guess I need to be level 2 for this. I might not even have enough of these ores to max this stuff out. Well, that's the enhancement reset. Cost me 200k, okay. Uh, irreversible. What the f- uh... I had a brain fart right there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that was just five wasted reforge hammers. Oh, that, that burns. Shit. Uh, I was so hopelessly lost about this type thing that I thought that the enhancement reset will reset the type. I'm an idiot, it doesn't. Uh, that was dumb. That was super dumb. Because uh, now that cost me, um, that just cost me five of these uh, enhancement reset hammers. Those things are super, super rare. Uh, and not only are they rare, well, to me, I rarely use them because I have the enhancement pass a lot of times. But still, it's freaking rare. Uh, and for me to just burn away five of those, oh, that burns. That hurts so bad. At any rate, uh, I feel like I'm probably going to end up using this more than I use my uh, Plat Helm 5, so I'm going to cap out this first. The Plat Helm 5, I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to recycle some of my, uh, some of my shards. 
they need an ability they need a way to recycle the types of the uh of these armors because some of these like uh the plat the platinum armor and the um the platinum armor and the what's the other thing called uh the the platinum armor and the Hermes boots, the stage staff, those things are super expensive. And if you roll a shitty type, it's GG. Like, there's no comeback from that if you roll a really shitty type. So, yeah. They seriously need a method to uh, combat this really crappy type roll system. This is a really bad roll. That was a bad roll. Uh... Don't really need to cap out defense here, but uh, fine. Six for defense, three evade. Uh, this one's gonna be tough to max. Oh my gosh, so many crit steals, and I didn't even get any of the crit. At least the HP is kind of HP is kind of rounding out. The thing with me is I used to keep uh, rolling the evade, the rolling away the crit, uh, or I keep I kept uh, messing with the evade, or I kept messing with the um, the crit seals, and now I don't have any. I'm running out of crit seals. I may need to roll. This this thing seriously needs to roll some of the crit, because um, I don't really have the ability to do 8 crit. I don't really want to do 8 crit here. You need to try and max out the HP first. Uh, hopefully I can max out the, the defense as well. My god. This one might not be maxed out at all. I may need to reroll this one. You gotta be kidding me. And I got a pity roll on that one? Holy crap. Alright, GG. I might let it just go negative 8 crit. Shit. Um, this, this is gonna, this, this weapon kinda sucks. <sighs> Minus 8 crit is not that bad on a weapon, to be honest. But... Uh, if I hammer this whole thing out, I'm going to be minus 3 crit. Which is fine, I guess. Uh, I don't see 3% crit being that big of a deal breaker. Uh, couldn't get this one crafted perfectly, and that's gonna bother me. I um, I'm kind of a perfectionist, so if I get like uh, these kind of crap, it really irks the hell out of me. Uh, okay, platinum helm plus five. Uh... <laughs> I was still, the worst part about this video is I was so excited that I thought the enhancement reset will reset the type that I was so excited for because I have so many of these trash, a lot of, a lot of trash Hermes sandals and a lot of trash platinum armors. Uh, and, and now I got a pla now I got a trash freaking stage staff. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, this one I may need to go get some help with these, uh... They're easy enough to max out, I mean, realistically, if I had the, uh, seal pass, I would be good. Um, that says life steal, I keep thinking that says life steal. Anyways, I have a shit ton of accuracy ones that I can burn out.
pain, accuracy, agility. There's no way to get agility, right? Uh, so I need evade as well. Yeah, I have crap on evade as well, so I think we're good. We should be okay. I was hoping to max out the Sage Staff as well, but oh well, that's unfortunate. The thing with the Platinum Helm is it's arguable, all three of them are decent, um, which is good because the Platinum Armor, uh, the Spirit one is really crappy. Anyways, uh, here we go. Uh, this one should, I believe this one should be decently easy to max out. HP, evade, defense. We're gonna let the defense max itself out. I'm gonna go for spirit. There we go, the defense max itself out. Got a little bit of everything. everything. Gonna let the, the agility has to max itself out as well. But as you can see, I got really lucky with the health rolls, so I should be okay at 40. I may even be, once I max out the HP, I think we're good to go. Okay, uh, this is basically maxed out. So I got nine more levels to go. I need six evasions plus one agility, so that's seven. And I need another five spirit. So seven plus five is twelve. Uh, uh, I guess I can save my seals and then just directly go all the way up. Uh, there's agility hammer, so I should be fine. Uh, if I save my seals, um, I'll need to hammer out two, I'll need to hammer out two stats. Uh, nine levels is basically three shields. Uh, here's the question of whether I want to save hammers or save seals. Um, I guess I'll try to save hammers if I can. Uh, we're up three levels. I got all three pity spirit. That's not good. Let's see if I can get a bonus roll here to save myself the hammer. But unfortunately, I'm already like halfway in. Okay, the spirit capped out. Uh, okay, I did get a bonus roll there. Uh, so this would be... I got a crap ton of evade too, so let's see if I can get the bonus roll on the evade. Oh, no bonus on the evade. Well, pretty damn close considering I only got I'm only missing two stats at the end. One, two. And there's the platinum armor. Uh, this realistically is only good for Whisper. Whom, uh, with it now can be at 100% slash resist and 100% magic resist as well. Uh, just to kind of show it off in action. I believe it's this one. Oh, seven? That's the Whisper Team, okay. Uh, so this should all, all, all automatically, because there's Fenrir there, I should automatically have, uh, the the magic resist, but here we go. Uh, this should say no. Yeah, that's nullified. Um, realistically, I probably can equip uh, the Elven Cloak instead of the Whisper TMR, and then that way I'll have uh, anti missile as well, anti spear as well, but not not by much, but only by like forty. Um, I believe there is a. I think it's the defense ban or something that comes with, and I think this is crazy, 25 missile resist? I think that's probably a typo, because the most of any type of weapon resist is 10. But if it was 25, I would put that on Whisper, and then we're going to be running around with 100% slash resist, 75 missile resist, and 100 magic resist. 
So I don't, I don't know how good that defense ban is, but I'm guessing it's a typo. At any rate, at the moment, uh, we are immune to Slash and immune to Magic. So I can pick any team that's Slash and Magic and basically just troll them. Uh, or you can, uh, or for, uh, <laughs> for Guild Wars, I just leave a Whisper there, kind of troll my opponents, and they accidentally pick into me. <laughs> and all of a sudden, oh shit, this guy's immune to Slash and Magic. You're, you're completely screwed. Uh, but, anyways, that's neither here nor there. Uh, okay, I think this video's been long enough. Thank you guys all for watching uh, uh, War of Division's Armory. Uh, next time, uh, I'm gonna make... Uh, next time, I'm gonna make Platinum Robe uh, plus 5. I've been trying to get this to plus 5 for, like, freaking ever. Uh, and I was waiting for the uh, Void Crystals. And if you notice, at the start of the video, I had, I think, 1,900, close to 2,000 of these things. Uh, mostly farmed up just for this. Here I need uh, these stupid blown splinters. I need a ton of them. I need another 500 of them. So I need uh, smart coats to come back. That or I dismantle all of my smart coats and get it off of there, but I don't think I have enough, even if I did that. Uh, that being said, though, um, I guess we're going to end the video with me... Uh, buying all the Soul of Dermasa recipes. So, Soul of Dermasa, when it came out, I recommend it getting, if you're gonna go hard, go get four uh, Soul of Dermasa um, uh, magic versions. To keep, uh, three, uh, get three Soul of Dermasa magic versions to prevent the silence. Here, I'm just gonna buy these 99, uh, and then that way, uh, I can max out all three of those Soul of Dermasas into plus five. If it ever becomes a if it ever, if it ever becomes necessary, not that I believe it does. But as you can see, I already bought out the whole freaking shop. <laughs> uh, the fragments of dot I am seriously considering buying. Um, but it's cool that they let me have unlimited amounts of these. So I can buy whatever I need. Unfortunately there's no bone splinters here though. Uh, my dog and my cat decided they wanted to fight. That was what my cat was screaming about. Uh, but alright, thank you guys all for watching uh, War of Division Armory. Uh, with Michi signing out.